I want to show you something that I found today and you're going to totally, totally love it. It is something called the Village Generator by none other than Alan Wyatt. Here it is. I'm going to put a link to this into the description. Mine is one of the two ratings. You can pick this up from $6, but I suggest you give the man about three to four times as much like I did, because seriously, this thing is cool. This thing, this is insane. So it's a Village Generator, as the word suggests, Soho. Uh, here's how this works. Rod, are you paying attention? Because this is crazy. You're going to open the file up. So it's just a regular blend file. And in it is where all the magic happens. I believe it, it comes with three files. I've only explored the first one, which is called, it's called Village Gen or v Villa Gen, I suppose. So you load that and it is in fact a little medieval village. There it is. This is, this is kind of cool. So it looks already very impressive. If you go and have a look at it, it is indeed a village. So, um, this is what it looks like in just the, the preview shaded. So it's literally a path and a village follows. And it's got a little, you know, tower thing, castle thing in the middle and stuff. So that's not really, you know, that's, that's not really the product. That is just what the default scene comes with. So check it out. If I go and select my street curve path and just tab into edit mode, I can go and literally add to it or sub subtract from it. So this is the path draw tool. And if I go and look from the top here, I can literally go and say, well, I'll just go and draw another path like this. And then I wait a second and boom, houses slash a whole village is being generated around it. And on these intersections, we have this little thing that is like a, you know, like a little, like a little tower here. So uh, that is insane magic by something called well, but powered by something called geometry nodes. It is rather exciting. If I go and just remove everything, then, you know, the whole village seemingly disappears, but I can just go and draw out another one. So I'll just go and left click and drag my path over here, maybe like this. That is kind of cool. And then I'll go and left click and drag maybe something else like this. I'm looking from the top here. That's kind of the half the magic. And then the intersection generates this little thing. And this is so, so cool. The funky thing now is, and this is this is what I couldn't get enough of. I tab out of edit mode and I'll just go and uh, I can even put this into, into material preview or even, I think, uh, even EV render mode. And then we can literally walk through this village. Let's give Blender a second as it calculates this. This is so, so cool. So this is, uh, it comes with HDRI. Demo scene comes literally with everything you need. And Alan is asking for six bucks. This is, this this is insane stuff. I think I bought a fence generator the other day for eight and that didn't work at all. It was like, it paled in comparison to this product. This is so cool. I've been following Alan on Twitter and I suppose it uh, takes Blender a little bit of time to get this sorted. Yeah, we just, you know, we'd we be patient. We'd be patient. So I can go and head over here under view. I can go to navigation. And then I go to walk animation, sorry, navigation, and then the W, A, S, and D keys totally got me covered. So I can go and scroll up or down to make it faster or slower. Sorry about my computer is a little bit struggling here, but I mean, look at this. I can, I can literally now walk through my village in Eevee in real time. This is insane or what? And with the mouse, I can literally just go and, and move it around so that I can look at the buildings. <laughs> And then you export this all out and then you essentially have a level. Is that insane or what? I'm totally going to play with this and see if I can animate some Ferraris driving through this village here. This is a little, little tower that gets generated in the middle with a little market here with the houses. I mean, insane or what? I've made this in literally seconds. <laughs> This is just so cool. Alan was saying that he's intending to expand on this with other assets. And apparently it is also relatively easy to replace these with your own. So you can go and put uh, whatever cyberpunk houses in the New York tenements and uh, different style houses and whatever, or just trees and make your own forest with it. I mean, literally the sky is the limit. Is that insane or what? That is just so, so cool. <laughs> All these houses, I think they come in the uh, building pieces here so there's literally doors and houses they're all i think they're a group of them they're all generated with a different scale and with a different rotation i don't really know all that much about the product i've only just picked it up and i thought i'm going to show you this because that's just that's just too cool <laughs> that is just too cool i'm going to go back into this uh, mode here and i'll go and edit that path again with edit mode maybe i'll just go and get rid of everything and just uh, draw it out again like, you know, just like this. I can also make a curve if you wanted to do that. 
and you go in one side and out the other. It just goes and does it. It's just so funny. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this can be used with your own assets. So the path also, I mean, it's, it, I, I drew that from the top, but the houses follow the plane that is uh, that has subdivision and that has a bit of a bumpy surface to it. So the houses, uh, they do follow that. The path could also work in, in three dimensions. So if I go and, um, and draw a path like this now, the houses would go and follow that. So that is um, that might not be what we want. So like, you know, floating houses and stuff, but it would work. So if you have a terrain that has a lot of height variations, it would acknowledge that. So very, very cool. I'm gonna undo that. I just go go through my this is literally my third village it's so cool i love it <laughs> yes i think that is also possible i think you could probably combine these two uh, i'm really not up to speed on geometry nodes i have to say but it is just such a cool idea isn't it so in navigation and then walk navigation will go and make us literally walk through this oh my and I mean, what this means for Blender is, like you say, you could literally have procedural houses, procedural trees, procedural everything, and then combine that with something like a placement logic like this. And then all you really need is an AI hooking into this and saying, uh, generate me everything from scratch. And you just, all you do is roll the dice for a new open, open world or little adventure game. That is just, that is just insane. Yeah, geometry notes. I really don't know much about it. I followed, I tried to follow a tutorial by Simon, I think, on the Blender Studio. And I kind of stopped getting it at the end of, of the first chapter where we're making really simple things. But in essence, from if I if I understand this correctly, the geometry nodes give you access to every little vertex of every object. And it allows you to, say, take a cube, grab a hold of all the vertices that make up the cube and then scramble them, manipulate them, add to them, mix them together and out comes something different. You can also access the materials and uh, that there's access to curves as well as UVs. It's insane stuff. Really, really cool. <laughs> if we do find a good tutorial on geometry nodes that actually makes it makes it something that we can understand as mere mortals. Those who have not studied uh, computer maths for the last 20 years, then, you know, maybe that's, that's something we can, we can benefit from. 